What's up, everybody? This is RF Mike, and tonight we are going to be checking out Bluetooth in ear earbuds. Uh, most of you guys know I like to use cans, uh, over the ear actual headphones. I use uh, Audio Technica MTX 50s X, and every once in a while you want to use earbuds instead because either your headphones get heavy, or you're going out for a jog or a walk, or you're going to work out and you just don't want a cord on you all the time. As for those of us that do use cords, like most of you, I've had a pair of just corded earbuds. These are actually my HTC ones that came with my phone, the M8. And they're not bad. They're definitely not like the Beats that used to come with it. And I did have a pair of Beats in the past, some in-ears, and I've had over-the-ears. But like I said, I've moved on to better sound quality when it comes to the over-the-ear headphones. Um, but every once in a while when I'm working out downstairs or if I'm going to take my dogs for a walk and I don't want to wear my cans, you want to have a good pair of Bluetooth in-ear earbuds. And for me, I also use Android Wear. So having earbuds and being able to control my music and what I got going on from my wrist without any cords, or even if I don't even want to take my phone, you can actually now pair Bluetooth earbuds or anything that's Bluetooth uh, headphones or in-ear earbuds to your Android Wear watch so that way you can listen to music just off the watch and not even need your phone but uh, I'm going to be doing quite a few videos on uh, in-ear earbuds and all the videos I'm pretty much doing are looking at uh, Bluetooth in-ears that are NFC compatible so that way it makes it for easy pairing um, NFC has been around for a long time, since 2007 really is when they started putting in the first Android smartphones, and it's just been getting better and better, and now Apple's finally done it. But at the moment, Apple only allows uh, Bluetooth, or only allows NFC ability when you're using it for the Apple payment system. So maybe in the future they might allow you to use it to pair devices to the phone as well. So we're going to start at the very bottom of the totem pole when it comes to in-ear earbuds that are Bluetooth uh, and zero cables. And we are starting with these ones here. These are the Dylan, good partner. These are the S50s. These puppies I got off Amazon for $23 and $24.99. And I went into blues. They have a pair of greens as well. Uh, they're pretty sporty looking. They're pretty much an all plastic construction. Um, as it shows here, these are, if we can get a focus going, there we go, these are Bluetooth version 4.0, there is a certain chipset, your time on these is 4.5 hours of talk time, over 160 hours of standby, so it's probably going to be about 4 or 5 hours of music as well, um, multi-point, so you can connect these to multiple Bluetooth devices at once. So I could connect it to my tablet and probably have these connected to my phone or connected to my watch and my phone. And then if I don't have my phone on me, I can still use my watch to listen. Um, there's color options, like I said. You can get these in the blue, like I have here, or there's the greens. And for music and calls, so they have a built-in microphone as well. And we will crack these open and look at them. But like I said, these are the cheaper of the two pairs that are out there of... The next pair we will view over in the future are these ones here, the Daycom Lancer 2s. These ones were only uh, $31.99, and the reviews on these are pretty good so far, but we'll get to those in another video. So for this video, we're just going to crack these open and take a look at them, and then I will use these for a week, and at the end of a week... I will do another updated video, show you how they look, and I might even throw in a time-lapse video of uh, having these turned on and how to pair them with NFC to my HTC One M8. And uh, like I said, after that, then I'll have a, a, cat, a recap video of how these were with, for a week's use compared to your basic uh, corded earbuds. So, so we will go ahead and crack this open.
So as you can see, very simple, minimal packaging. So here are the earbuds. They're on a very uh, thin tether or thin lining, kind of like a flex cable. Kind of like the pos what some people call a pasta cable. As you can see, our inline controls which we have volume up, volume down. And that's probably your pause and play and probably allows you to do your phone call, like call back the last person you talked to. You can also see the built-in mic. I'll zoom in on that in a minute. And also in here, we have our charging cable, which is a micro USB if we get focus there we go yeah micro USB to USB and also in the package uh, nothing else so there is no other earbuds to come with this so it is one size of earbuds yeah. Bluetooth user manual so very very minimal like I said, for being not even $30 headphones, you're not getting too much. But still for that price, we will find out if they're worth it. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. But there we go. As you can see the ear, the uh, drivers are curved off at an angle to fit the ear canals for your left and your right ear. And that it can be a downside, especially for people that might have different shaped ears or ear canals. The gels that are on it are quite pretty squishy. As you can see, the I might not be able to see this. Cannot get the focus. There we go. You can make it out just a little bit. The dial in logo that's on these right there. And Let's see what side has the plug in. And I haven't even looked at the manual, so as for where the trap door is for charging. They have it pretty well hidden. Let me pause this for a second. Alright, we are back and I found out where see it there is the micro USB charging port it is there you go you can barely make it out in this photo or in this video but it's tucked away in the bottom of your right earbud and then on the left earbud the bottom of it there is an LED indicator which is kind of hard to make out. Yeah, there's an LED indicator for when it's charging. Um, there is also on the left earbud another mic. 
as well as, like I said earlier, the mic that is in the cable or in your control. Got your pinhole mic there as well. So, all right. So that's it for this video. Like I said, I will go ahead and add on a time lapse of these charged and pairing to the M8, and then we will. I will give them a shot for a week. I will use them daily. For me, my daily usage would involve listening to some music for at least one, two hours a day uh, in the morning hours when I'm getting some cleaning done at work and I don't really have any staff around. And then if I come home and listen to music in the afternoon or the evening, uh, I can use them for that if I'm doing a workout or walking the dogs. But yeah, we'll give these a shot for a week and then I'll report back and then we'll move on to the next set. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like and subscribe. This is RF Mike signing off. What's up everybody? This is RF Mike and today we are continuing to part two of the Dylan uh, Bluetooth in-ear headphones or earbuds. And I did not do a pairing video because these do not have NFC like they were advertised. Uh, as I showed back on the back of the box at the beginning, when I first did the looking at them and info, there's nothing that says about NFC. And then if we go to the manual, there's nothing here in the manual about NFC. Even on the guide, you do not see mention of NFC, where all the buttons are, what does what. Charging, nothing. Nothing about NFC. So... I did revert back to looking at their ad on Amazon. And this is just a screen capture of the ad, but it says new NFC pairing function provides simple NFC pairing. Smartphone must have NFC enabled. If not, normal Bluetooth pairing applies. And I have NFC enabled on my tablet, my Nexus uh, 10 here, and they would not pair. And I had even tried it on my, uh, my M8 with NFC, that would not pair either. So um, I did pair it to my watch when I had first, after I cracked them open and started the first part of the video, just to see how it would do. And I did just do the basic pairing, push and hold the power button slash multi button to get them to, to get them to uh, pair to the watch and the watch picked them up. And they are very, um, flat sounding. There's not much in the ways of bass or high tones. They have decent mid sound. And this was only for like an hour of use. And that was on whatever battery life came on these. As you can see, I had removed the jet, the sport, uh, the nubs that would help hold these in your ears. And I'm just using the regular gels that are on them. Um, but with minus the, the whole NFC thing, I used them till they died. And sure enough, um, they died, charged them, tried turning these back on, and they would not boot back up. So I did write Amazon about that and say, hey, I know this is a, something I ordered from this company. And being that it is a direct company, uh, their supply changes, blah, blah, blah. They said uh, they can't uh, s replace these. And uh, it's basically $23 down the drain. And you know how Amazon is. If you've ordered from them and you've had issues with stuff, they will refund you your money. So that's what they are doing. They did send me an email saying, hey, sorry, uh, we can't replace these for you, but we're going to go ahead and refund you your money. So <clears throat> I did li actually like the style of these, even though they're plastic. And the blue is actually a texturized soft, soft matte, like a soft touch finish. Um, being that there's only one size ear gel on them, that is not really the best thing. I'd rather have multiple different earbuds that come with it for different sizes. Um, having the drivers angled at an angle wasn't really the best either because they one fit good in my left ear and the other one did not fit so good in the right ear. And very minimal packaging, that's fine. But I just don't like that the uh, ad on their website showed or their ad on Amazon showed that they do NFC when they really don't. And then, uh, like I said, I got my email from Amazon and 
I said sorry about your earbuds, blah, blah, blah. And they will refund money, the $23.99 within two to three business days. So that's cool. I'm okay with that. So just so you guys know, um, if you're looking for really cheap earbuds, if you do get these, hopefully yours work and they continue to work. Or look at the other models that that uh, this company makes, which I think they only make these in the green as well, and that's it. But uh, next, I will go on to the next set that I previously mentioned in the earlier part of the video. And we'll see how those do. So, uh, yeah, take a, it's a risk if you buy these, but again, you're not spending too much, $23.99 of a loss which Amazon will take care of if you have an issue so I would rate these yeah at the lowest of the low uh, thanks for checking out my video and I'll see you guys in the next one